Today you're going to learn how to fix the div zero error in your Excel formulas for a printable PDF of all the solutions covered in this video. Click on the link in the description below. So the div zero error occurs when you divide a number by zero. As we all learned in school, dividing a number by zero is mathematically impossible and Excel reminds you as such with the div zero error. So in this first example, we have a list of product quantities and total cost. And in column E, we are going to calculate the cost per unit. So that equals total cost divided by quantity. And we're going to drag this formula down. As you can see, we're getting div zero errors in two instances. In this first instance, we're getting a div zero error because we're dividing this quantity, this total cost by a quantity of zero. And in this second instance, we're getting a div zero error because we're dividing this total cost by a blank cell. So Excel interprets blank cells as zero and will return a div zero error when the cell is blank. So to fix this div zero error, we're going to use the if error formula. The if error formula evaluates your initial formula, determines whether it will return an error, and returns a nicer looking result than the unsightly div zero error. So I'll show you how the formula works. We're going to start with equals if error. And in the value section, we're going to enter our initial formula, which was total cost divided by quantity. And then in the value if error section, we're going to simply enter two quotation marks. So that equals blank. And then we're going to close parentheses, and we're going to pull this formula down. So as you can see, the if error formula replaces those unsightly div zero errors with a blank cell. And that gives your spreadsheet a lot more clean and professional look. So in this second instance, we're going to look at a simple financial model. And when you build a financial model, you may find your file has div zero errors. So in this instance, the financial model wants the user to prop to enter cost and revenue data and then it's going to tell you the gross margin percent. And when you send this file to your end user, you want a much more polished look without the div zero error. So like we did in the first example, we're going to wrap our formulas in an if error formula to hide this ugly div zero error. So equals if error cost divided by revenue, that's our value, and we're actually going to prompt the user, if it's an error, please enter cost and revenue above. We're going to put that in quotation marks, close the parentheses, and click enter. So now when the end user of this financial model receives the file, it will look much more professional without the div zero errors, and the if error statement even prompts the user as to what they're supposed to do, enter the values. So now they're going to come in and enter a cost and a revenue. And the model is actually going to spit out, once they, it gets the inputs that it needs, it's going to spit out a gross margin percent and get rid of that prompt. So that's how you fix the div zero error in Excel. If you learned something today, would you please give this video a thumbs up and head on over to howtoanalyst.com for more tips and tricks like this.